It is no secret that the French boast their fair share of Counter-Strike legends. For starters, there's the eternally worshipped Kenny S, whose nutty ass, no cap, no scopes continue to make op wielding wannabes everywhere weep. And Nico nearly dead. Eight. Oh! What is that from Kenny S? Then you've got Shoxy, a ponderous pretty boy who looks like he should be composing love poetry instead of clapping fools with an AK. The only thing cleaner than this dude's facial hair are his impossibly crispy one-taps. He almost took down two. That is a ridiculous shot, though. Shock's falling back into the bomb site. Do they really want to chase him? He seems to be in a position. Oh! He's taking him down! And then, of course, there's Zywoo. The fragger about whom the prophecy foretold. Born on the very day of Counter-Strike's retail release, this beautiful baby-faced assassin is so inhumanly talented that he's been branded the game's chosen one. Electronic, looking for the cleanest finish. He's been turned on. Zaiwoo, no health really, but he's still hitting shots. He's already got three and four and five and so oh my god, Zaiwoo! Suffice it to say, when it comes to clicking heads, these baguette-obsessed bruisers are, as the kids say, built different. But that don't mean they're built to last. Whether it's because they missed a crucial shot or just got kicked for what feels like the zillionth time, the French are famous for letting their emotions get to them, and sometimes floundering as a result. This should tie things up at 12-12. Still the advantage towards phase, but... They're going to be struggling here. It's another partial buy. The Lost Menace starts to rack out for them, and still quite dangerous oh. there. Kenny S will go down first. Two shots from AC. Rain and Kerrigan, oh, no. and Rain again. They steal the round very fast play toward the lobby position. Matt, you pointed out that full eco they lost against the five sevens, pincering them in from ramp and upper. That was a defining moment. And it's in situations like that, where if you're looking to get across the finish line, you don't want some agile yet unreliable sports car. You want something tough, something robust. Because when the chips are down, you don't want a two-seater. You want a fucking tank. But Flamey is his kryptonite again. Oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh KK takes three! He can't just do that! Are you kidding me? For 15, for match points! And he just puts his hands together, making magic happen, doesn't even smile, doesn't even cheer. Enter Cedric RPK Guipri the stoic, stone-faced, silver-haired 31-year-old who's been holding it down alongside Francis Finest for well over a decade. Unlike many of his kinsmen, RPK has long been regarded as an altogether unemotional assailant. A silent yet slippery sentinel who's strong in any position and able to stay calm and collected in even the tensest of circumstances. A reputation that's led him to being dubbed the Tank. Let, okay. World of Tanks, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's RPK's second okay. favorite game. His most favorite, still Counter Strike. Let's see if he can clutch this. Last player right above him, both working with minimal HP Yo. and RPK. Goes one better. 13 frags, 7 deaths, 8 health for the 1v3 clutch. Le Tank, he does it. Zywu and RPK a chance here to finish it all and take us to Inferno. He's found Boomage. There's two more where that came from. Line. Flashed and punished. One more and one tap. The Tank seals the deal. GT moving as a pack. Oh dear, Ooh. Jax is going to deep down Zywu, Apex and RPK left to hold on, and now it is just RPK, the tank, and he's getting overwhelmed, but tapping them down, tapping them out of the round is RPK. So how is it that RPK came to embody this vehicular playstyle to begin with? In what sense did his CSGO career come dangerously close to ending before it even got started? And how is it that he's still able to stonewall Zoomers despite being in his 30s? RPK tucked in on the elevator and Cold Sarah spots him out. This is the first, and that's Zywu. Biggest scalp done, oh. but RPK's knocking off scalps and handing out headshots. Good grief, I didn't expect that. Four frags from the tank. He's just smashing through the competition. I need to see that again. Now, in spite of his age, RPK didn't actually get his start way back in 1.6. 
You see, like a lot of these Fragalicious Frenchies, RPK first began to make a name for himself in scrubby old source. And unlike his contemporaries, he wasn't some up-and-comer cutting his teeth in Counter-Strike's notoriously subpar sequel. No, he was the finished article, and to this day is widely considered to be Source's greatest ever player. RPK was aggressive, absurdly consistent, and able to hold down bomb sites like it was nobody's business. And as a result, he quickly earned himself a second nickname that emphasized just how large and in charge he was both in and out of the server. The Tank. Wait, how do they say it in French? Le Tank. Fairy Games needs to get that defuse if they want to get themselves ahead again. RPK takes on Shox, comes in, Smiz grabs two of his own. Moloch, RPK again, and again he takes on Smiz. RPK and Apex versus Moloch. Can they do this? One versus two. Moloch takes on Apex. Can he clutch this for uh, Dragons? Comes in, RPK says no, and he rips the set off. And somebody jumped over RPK. Uzi gets er, drops NBK. Can he S? RPK gets one, gets a second one onto Uzi. That's three so far. And it's all down to scream and he drops. <laughs> the issue, of course, is that Source never really flourished as an eSport. At least, not in the way that 1.6 did. So, by the time Global Offensive came around, RPK and his compatriots were eager to prove themselves in what was heralded as a unification of the franchise's two previous titles. And he did. At first. Kind of. You see, RPK's CSGO debut was made on the then world-class Very Games roster, a veritable super team made up of the greatest sorcerers France had to offer. And from the get-go, they were a force to be reckoned with, toppling virtually every lineup that ventured to get in their way. Well, everyone except for those f***ing Swedes. Thanks in large part to this absolute e-gamer known as Get Right, Ninjas in Pajamas were the one side that Very Games couldn't crack. And it heralded a brief yet unwitting rivalry between the gods of Source and 1.6 as they vied for glory in Go. I only have one basic memory of him. We're sitting outside and having a drink on one of the evenings, just sitting there before it gets dark, and there's a there's a nice BMW just drives up in front of the hotel, and he just sits there, just quiet, and all of a sudden he just like mumbles in French about like how f***ing sexy the car is. And then they start laughing, everyone, and then they explain it to me like that. RPK is in his own world right now, as always, sees a car and gets in love with it. But unfortunately for Le Tonk, Get Right was just too sneaky-beaky to be bested. And by the end of 2012, RPK had lost his fourth consecutive grand finals to those annoying ass 87 and owers, despite putting on the performance of a lifetime. Back over here with RPK, he's down to a one versus three. He's gonna enter up here with Freiburg here in just a moment. You can see Freiburg set up shop. He will get taken out there by RPK. As now it looks like we've seen a rotate happen here by Get Right, but the bomb carry actually was over inside of mid and RPK goes down. And it was right then, after playing Go professionally for three months, that RPK decided to call it quits. Not because he couldn't beat Nip, mind you, but because despite being the second best roster in the world, he wasn't making a lot of money. Now remember, this was in the very early days of CSGO. The French scene was in a state of flux, and given how god-awful of a place CSGO was in at launch, the game's future remained very uncertain. And being 23, RPK needed to get a real job, one that would pay the bills. At that moment, I was already in the... in the... in the tournament, in the fact that I started to learn a lot, in quotes. And of course, you win... at that moment, you have to say, compared to what we win today, we win at this sneaker, it's like in March. So, 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 Donc c'était à contre-coeur, c'est vrai, hein, ça m'a ça fait mal, mais j'ai préféré arrêter le jeu et me dire qu'il faut, voilà, il faut, il faut aller bosser, il faut faire quelque chose de sa vie. Dans le sens où c'est que, oui, c'est vrai que j'y croyais pas forcément à l'évolution de, de CS et que CS allait être un jeu, euh, je dirais pas e-sport, mais e-sport au, au point qu'on qu qu le connaît aujourd'hui. So, despite having been a competitive source player for half a decade, 
RPK walked away from Counter-Strike completely and turned his attention towards his other lifelong passion, cars. C'était, il fallait faire quelque chose. Mon père a, a toutes les toutes les cannes d'essence mm. automobile euh, sur. Euh, on va dire il est mécano, mais il est plus que mécano. Il est même préparateur auto. Il est capable de, de, de pousser les voitures, tout ça, tout ça. Et c'était là-dedans que euh, moi je voyais les trucs. Et on va dire que pendant deux ans, ça nous a servi. Ça, moi, ça m'a mis du plan dans la tête et sur les trucs de la vie au quotidien. Après, euh, après, mon, mon mon rêve d'avoir un garage et tout ça, tout ça, tout ça, ça sera peut-être plus tard. Mais, euh, mais là, là, oui, non, c'était... On a passé deux ans à, à faire, à faire, à faire de, de la méca et après, c'est lui qui m'a transmis toute la passion de l'automobile. For two years, RPK washed his hands of Counter-Strike. He didn't even watch events since he thought it might tempt him to make a return. And right as it appeared, as if that head-clicking chapter of his life was forever closed, the craziest thing happened. Weeks before DreamHack Winter 2014 was set to kick off, one of France's most promising up-and-coming stars, Cali, got slapped with the most scandalous vac ban in the history of professional CSGO. You know that famous USP shot he hit on Pasha? The one that qualified them for the major? Well, uh, in retrospect... This one's right on crisp, clean lock, boys. Having been disqualified from the major, Cali's roster, Titan, needed a replacement whose size and stature could save them from the PR nightmare that they'd been plunged into. So, in a desperate bid to rehabilitate their image, they sought out the tank. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Needless to say, CSGO wasn't the same janky excuse for a successor as when RPK had last laid eyes on it. On top of that, things had evolved from an esports perspective. The crowds, the stickers, the player counts. It was a whole new world of possibility. Euh, c'était un choc. Franchement, c'est... Quand je suis revenu, enfin déjà, pour vite fait me remettre dans le bain, parce que faut dire que j'avais pas de PC, j'avais rien à ce moment-là. Enfin, mon PC était dépassé par les événements complets. Euh, J'ai regardé quand même des, des, des vidéos, des, des after movies de Katowice ou des trucs comme ça là. Et, euh, euh, et je m'étais dit, putain, ouais, il s'est passé un truc. Genre, euh, vraiment, il, il, c est, c est, ça va être un truc de ouf. Mais bon, ok, après, je me suis dit, il faut quand même y aller. Voilà, c'est bien beau, mais il faut quand même y aller. Et, euh, et du coup, bon, il, il, je crois, mon, un des premiers trucs qui m'a marqué, c'était euh, UM Katowice. Honnêtement, quand j'y suis allé, que je voyais les gens, tu pouvais pas te déplacer sans que quelqu'un te, te vienne te demander de signer un truc ou quoi. Je me suis dit, les gens, ils sont devenus complètement fous. Tout le monde a pété les plans là-dedans. Et, euh, et donc, du coup, ouais, je, je me suis dit, franchement, c'est des fous, les gens. La question était de savoir s'il pouvait être capable de les cobwebs. Keep in mind, this wasn't some six-month Astralis-esque vacation. This was two years, which can feel like an eternity in esports. Ouais, en gros, euh, j'ai eu un moment où... En fait, je me suis dit, bon, de toute façon, on verra. Je, honnêtement, quand on m'a rappelé, je me suis dit, on verra bien. Je... Normalement, je sais mettre des shots, ça, il n'y a pas de problème. Même au bout de deux jours, pour moi, j'étais persuadé que je vais arriver, je vais mettre des shots et c'est reparti. Et il y a eu un peu de ça, je pense, au début, où c'est que les headshots m'ont beaucoup sauvé. D'ailleurs, c'est ça même complètement qui m'a sauvé. Mais après, par contre, tout ce qui était méta du jeu, j'étais complètement largué. Je comprenais pas ce qui se passait. On faisait des trucs mais archi nouveaux tout le temps. Enfin, pour moi, dans ma tête, il n'y avait rien qui était semblable au passé. Donc, euh, du coup, ça, c'était très dur. C'est le plus dur à rattraper. Et, euh, et ça, par contre, j'ai mis énormément de temps... À, à le rattraper, on hein. va pas se mentir que je pense que j'ai mis jusqu'à 2016, même euh, 2010, enfin même 2017 et tout, j'ai continué à, à toujours essayer de, 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 de toujours courir après un train hein, parce que j'étais déjà tout le temps un train de retard en gros. But the crazy thing is that in spite of how substantially the game had changed, it didn't actually take that long for the tank to start rolling people again. Gonna meet Guardian here in a second, but not before Guardian has taken down Maniac. They've also lost Apex. Well, look nice. at RPK. You sneaky, sneaky man behind three of them. He gets himself to. Oh, no, he needed one more bullet. Oh, Does in beautiful. the end get three before the plant happened, crucially, before the plant went uh, went down there. And he's even trying to get a fourth now. Oh, and he's expecting or maybe it. even get a fifth. He's Zeus coming around the side. He will kill Zeus. You've got to gift the man his ace now. 
And the triangle's already set up here for NIP. There's a man, Forest, waiting in the vents. There's a man at the back, get right. They have no idea, they just now figure it out. RPK hits one great headshot, a second one as well. And the ace! This is it, RPK! The legend from Source, he actually comes through in the pistol round. Unfortunately, he struggled to find the right roster. Now, it's no secret that French Counter-Strike is, well, a bit of a soap opera. For years, the region stood in disarray thanks to a sea of kicks, ousts, mutinies, and blood feuds. And since RPK was, at his core, an anchor, he wasn't always able to find the right cast of superstars to support. Despite being a genuinely adored player, he wasn't amassing the kinds of accolades that his reputation seemed to warrant. And at some point, it started to look as if he'd never achieved the kind of success in Go that his legendary status in Source had all but assured. But fortunately for us, the tank couldn't be stopped. Just as 2018 was coming to a close, two months after his 29th birthday, RPK signed on to become the rock of Vitality's brand spankin' new CSGO squad. There, he joined forces with a cast of tried and true tusslers to rear the greatest prodigy the game had ever seen. And they didn't just perform, they took over the world. You know, this is the kinds of games he was bred and born in, being another newcomer. But the pistol round oh. starts to get swung back by RPK in ace. <laughs> An ace from Le Tank. Step out, headshot available. Nitro does not want to re-ping too soon. Nath at the car. Good response from Apex. Another step further. He might not have had the angle. RPK last alive, but the low HP! This guy is only just two! It belongs to him, and so does the round for Vitality! What kind of money can RPK... Ooh, that's a beautiful shot. Wow. That's Liaz hitting the dirt. Oh, another one! The follow-up from RPK! A one versus two, and he's got a real chance. He's gonna drop down vents. He might have an opportunity to get the bomb planted, but Gratisfaction has read it. He's got a little bit of a jump, but he doesn't have the HP to press the issue. At least a plant for RPK, and a chance to win a one versus four. That would be huge. The Monotov is gonna limit his space down here, but now he's out in the open. He just wants to continue on that one-shot headshot situation, and he actually falls back here. They're gonna line up for him. He gets one! Oh my god! The one versus four! And the tank able to pick it up! Donc du coup oui on va pas se mentir qu'au final pour moi c'était la, la dernière chance de pouvoir montrer un truc au top au sein d'une équipe française. Euh, de pouvoir euh, amener une équipe française au top, c'était oui pour moi la, la, la dernière chance parce que sinon j'avais du mal à... Enfin à part celle-là, euh, d'ailleurs on ne le voit pas trop, il n'y a plus d'équipe française euh, à, ce, à ce haut niveau là donc du coup... Euh, Donc du coup c'est compliqué, la dernière était G2, mais vu comment c'est ça s'est complètement dissolu à droite à gauche là. Donc, euh, donc euh, du coup voilà. Mais oui oui c'était c'était oui c'était le dernier la dernière chance de pouvoir euh, grandir le drapeau français le plus haut euh, sur la scène. By the end of 2020, RPK had helped Vitality secure themselves as a contender for the best Counter-Strike roster on the planet. And they're stepping towards RPK. He's gonna give chase. There's three T's here. And of course, he shuts down the front runners. He has been a monster. Went 27 and seven versus Mouse Sports the other day. Time ticking quick. The op shot draws his attention and Ziwu takes the kill. Vitality, ladies and gentlemen, are your Blast Fall Finals champions. At 31, the tank has not only climbed back atop the game he loves, but is actively rewriting the book in terms of what it means to be too old to play competitive CS at a truly high level. I think RPK is the epitome of simple and efficient CS, right? He's not gonna do fancy tricks with smokes and whatnot. He plays simple Counter-Strike, holds down the angle, frags. I also think he's one of the best teammates you could ever hope to have. Never is he gonna complain about a position. Never he's gonna ask to have more. You just tell him what he's supposed to do and he's gonna make the best out of it. Et c'est vrai que ce qui est fou, c'est que je ne vois pas de limite. Tant que pour moi, dans ma tête, je suis bien, je vois pas pourquoi j'y arriverai pas. J'ai aucun souci là-dessus, puis même j'ai pas peur de... De, 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 de jouer n'importe qui puis je me pas je me dis jamais je suis trop vieux pour ces conneries ou des trucs comme ça donc euh, donc du coup au final euh, non je me, je me vois encore jouer jouer un bon moment dans le sens où c'est que tant que ça se passe bien à côté tant que dans ma vie elle est 
elle est tracée, elle est faite comme ça, ben bah, tout va bien. Le jour où c'est que je me dis, euh, euh, putain, il serait peut-être temps que je prenne ma retraite ou quoi. De toute façon, du moment où tu te poses la question, c'est que c'est terminé. Au fond de toi, c'est que tu l'as déjà choisi. Donc, euh, pour moi, non, non, je suis encore là. À 50 ans, je suis là encore en train de cliquer. Should he win a major tomorrow, RPK would be the oldest victor in the history of Counter-Strike. And while he isn't as spry as he was in his source days, he's pioneered such a calculating, consistent, fundamentals-heavy playstyle that, honestly, it doesn't really matter. And while he may not be the flashiest player in the world, he's sure as shit the most sustainable. After almost 15 years, the tank is still out for blood. To this day, he's rolling over scrubs like it's his day job. Because at 31, it still is. And he is showing no signs of slowing down. RPK and Apex both here again. 20 seconds left on the clock. RPK, the tank kicked things off and he has to do it all. And he does as well. Three kills for RPK. I, th I think he might still have it. I don't know if it works here, but I really want to do the fucking, you know, the, the French Google Translate meme? You type like Darth Vader into like Google Translate, and then you, you go into the French one, and you type in Darth Vader, and it's just like, Darth Vader. And the meme is that you just do this with anything. I saw one that was just literally, I think it was the original actually, it was just titties. It was just like, titties, and then just, it titties. <laughs> just hard cuts to like boobs with a, like a, Baguette and the like.